This is the latest movie by Rick Alverson and the reason I wanted to see it was absolutely the cast. Mainly Jeff Goldblum, who I've been a fan of ever since Jurassic Park. However, he rarely does interesting projects like this these days. And usually I only see him in smaller roles here and there, like his appearances in Portlandia. So yeah, when he does do a project like this, I'm compelled to watch it. But I also like Ty Sheridan, who by the way had a stellar start to his acting career. I mean, Tree of Life, Mud and Joe in three years, that's pretty strong. Unfortunately, it's been more misses than hits since then, but a man's gotta work, right? But anyway, on to this one, which is a very slow, quiet and contemplative movie. It's also shot in this boxy 4-3 aspect ratio and has a bit of a beige look to it. It's almost monochrome in its color scheme and it's also set in the 50s, I believe. But the main story here follows this young man who teams up with this older doctor type as they make their way across the country visiting various mental hospitals. And this is in the era where lobotomies and electroshock therapy were still fairly common, although on the way out. And yeah, that's about it as far as the general premise here goes. I'd also say that this one doesn't exactly put a lot of emphasis on the plot. It's more about these two characters and what they're dealing with and what they're going through. And as I said, it's a very slow movie and I'd be tempted to call it a mood piece. Because it sort of dwells on certain moods and it takes its time with every scene. There's also not a ton of dialogue, especially coming from the main character. He's virtually mute. So not a ton is explained in great detail, although it does give you enough information to work with. But you sort of just have to figure out what's going on at any given time just based on the expressions of the characters and the overall atmosphere. And I wouldn't call this movie impenetrable either because it's not that complicated when you really break it down. There just aren't a ton of things that really need explaining either. However, I will say that toward the end there, it did take a bit of a bizarre turn. And it definitely ramped up the strange factor quite a bit. Especially with this brilliant, gripping and very physical performance by Denis Levant, who's apparently worked a lot, mainly in French cinema though. But yeah, I love that part, even though it's probably the part I understood the least. But overall, I do think I got the gist of it all. I think I kinda got it. And I did find the movie overall to be rather fascinating. However, I'm still not quite sure what to make of it, but for some reason I did like it. And despite of how slow it is, it never lost me and I never found it to be boring. Although I do completely understand if someone were to find it boring. It's not really the most exciting or eventful movie, I guess. And it is absolutely a very well-made movie with some great performances. Although I will say that I kinda expected Jeff Goldblum to be a bit more in the forefront. But he's actually more of a side character and his performance was also kinda subtle and toned down. Not bad by any means, but just a little less commanding than he usually is. And that's probably because the focus here definitely was not on him, but on this character of the younger man. Although there is quite a bit of nuance and depth to his character as well. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this one. I found it to be interesting and well made, however, would I recommend it? I mean, if you enjoy quaint, slow, quiet movies, this one is definitely worth a look. But if you're not into that kind of thing, I'd say it's pretty safe to skip. Or you know, don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.